Hello. Welcome to Curvaceous Flair. Today, we're going to talk about how to alter a bra when you might have gaping at the top cup. So, that means if you were to put on a bra like this, this top part might have a lot of extra fabric. You might fill in the bottom quite well, but this top part, you might be able to pinch out extra fabric. And it might be common that you might have to do this separately for each side because you might have a different amount of gaping on each side. But the process is going to be the same no matter which side you're doing it on. So let's get started with that. So let's figure out how we are going to alter a bra in order to fix top cup gaping. In order to do this, we need to figure out what materials we are going to need. We are going to need a bra that we can put on ourselves and it should fit you fairly well, except for the adjustments you are going to need to make. You are going to need something to write with. Normally I would use a pencil. However, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a red pen just so you can see it a little better. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need tape. You are going to need the top cup of your pattern. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Black Beauty Bra from Emerald Erin. However, this really works with any top cup pattern you can use out there. And then lastly, you're going to need a ruler. I like to use quilting rulers because I can see through them and you'll see why that helps. One other thing you might want is some extra paper. However, I just tend to use the scrap paper from cutting out my pattern. Let's get started on this. So to start with, you need to put your bra on. I'm not actually gonna put this bra on, but I am gonna show you how you need to measure what we need to do. If this bra, was on you. I imagine you fill out this bottom cup fairly well because we are just altering the top cup portion for this. You might need some little alterations elsewhere, but if the bottom cup is also not fitting you, try to find a better size because if both sides are not fitting you, you're probably in the wrong size. Then if this is on you, I want you to pinch out all of the extra fabric doesn't matter where you pinch it out as long as it's long this top cup line not at the underarm if you want it at the top cup and you might need to do this twice one for each side asymmetry is a very common issue and it's not really even an issue it's just common we're built all differently each side of us is unique so pinch it out then i want you to measure how much you pinch out. Okay, just measure it. And then you need to multiply that by two. And make sure you're measuring at the top part of the cup, not down here. Down here will give you a smaller number and you want this top part. So if you get half an inch up here, multiply that by two, that's one inch. If you get one inch, you need to get two inches. Whatever that number is, write it down so you don't forget. And then let's get over to our pattern. So now we have the amount of fabric we need to take out of the very top part of the cup. To do this, we're going to take out a full dart in here. However, we're gonna spread that dart out just so it's not so centered in one little area. For me, I need to take out a full inch of fabric. Whatever your number is, I want you to divide that number by three. So we're gonna divide it into three parts. In my case, one inch is one third of an inch. 
Then to start with, I want you to just kind of divide this into fourths. And that means you're gonna make three marks. So I just kind of go to about half and then half of each half. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I just make three little notches. And then from each notch, I'm going to cut a straight line from the notch to the top line of the seam. I'm not going to cut all the way through. So now you have your pattern cut up a little bit. But the beautiful part of this is we can now kind of move these back and forth. That is what we want. We're going to make three darts within the pattern. So you need to take your ruler now and on the same side of each cut, I want you to make a little mark for the amount you need to take out. So in my case, it's one third inch. So I go from my cut line and I mark a third inch over. And I'm going to do that on each of these. And I'm going to do it on the exact same side. Now notice my ruler does not have one third inch. So I kind of guesstimate it. It usually works for me. Sometimes you might need to be a little bit more precise and get a ruler that actually has one third inch. Then we are going to take our pattern. We are going to take each side and tilt it until the top part meets, meets the notch you just wrote on. And take a piece of tape, tape it in place. I want you to do that for each of your notches. And when you're done, you should have a piece. Looks a little bit like this. You might have a little bit more taken out. You might have a little bit less taken out. Well, now, the whole reason we did not cut into the seam line is so that this seam line still matches our bottom cut and it should match up perfectly still. I did have to press it down a little bit because we are curving it, the pattern a little bit, but it should still match pretty much right. However, our problem right now is we do not have a straight line up here. And that's what we're going to fix now. So take your paper. In my case, I just take my scrap paper. I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to lay it down so that I have some room on top of the cup. I don't care about the bottom part right now. But I want to make sure I have a little bit of room over here and a little bit of room on this side. And I'm going to tape it down. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to place it from this far, far point to this point. Take my pet writing tool. I'm just going to draw a quick line from one to the other. And then I am just going to cut it out. I'm going to cut off all the extra paper. And I have a piece that looks like that. And now this should be your new top cup with whatever amount taken out at the top part and it should no longer gape. 
However, we're still not done. There are a couple little things we need to fix. For one, we want to fix our stretch for our dogs. And this is why I like having a quilting ruler. Because originally this stretch was parallel to this top part. And I'm going to keep it that way. So I just line up a line through the top of my cup so that I can make a parallel line further down to make my dog's or my stretch line. And then I also like to make sure I mark it. So I have a one inch dart. If I could not see that this was the upper cup or the size or what pattern it was, I might write that down as well. In this case, I didn't mess those up too much. I didn't cut through them and I can still see them. So I'm not going to rewrite them. Then you just cut this out and attach it to your bottom cup and you should have a fixed non-gaping top cup. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below and I will try to answer you as best as I can.